Okay, The Dawning 2021 is now available free to play in Destiny 2. I'm gonna try best to go through everything of how to get all the recipes, how to get all the ingredients, the blue ones and the green ones, and how they work and all that stuff. I'm gonna have all the timestamps in the description, in the comments, and how to get everything. It's always gonna be like that. I've done this video like three times already, and it changes every single year. This one's a bit different, a little bit easier to understand. There is no crafting uh, a, a recipe. Um, so I'll try my best to just explain and just how to show you guys uh, how it works. So when you first come and you join uh, Destiny 2 or open Destiny 2, you want to go ahead and head to Eva. She'll give you the first quest, the dawning, and she'll give you your oven. The oven is located in your inventory. You want to go ahead and right click it and open it up. And first it wants to craft and gives you the ingredients exactly for the Galadoodles, which is for uh, Savala here. So go ahead and right click onto it. And you can see here. We can now uh, craft the one Galadu, which is you, you, you're forced to do it no matter what. And it'll unlock your oven basically like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try my best to explain everything here in detail. So here is the oven. And you can see our recipes here, our ingredients, and the masterworks. The masterwork is when you actually find all the ingredients or all the recipes in the game. Um, and you can now uh, upgrade it and that will instead of costing 15 essence of donning, it'll cost 10 So if you're wondering why why it's all blue, purple and it's because it's masterworked But if you don't have it, it's fine. It just you gotta get all the recipes done So let's go ahead and talk about how to get the ingredients. So first things first all about It's all about just killing enemies basically and how you kill them So first the green ones the uncommon ones are simple. It is race based. So every time you kill an enemy vex uh, fallen cabal hive taken and scorn uh there's a chance it's a low very very low chance the easier to get something the hot the, the the harder it is to get basically but races since they're, since they're just everywhere in the game just you just gotta keep killing them and they'll eventually drop and give it and put it into your inventory into your oven here now we have the rare ingredients i'm gonna go over my best here to show you guys and tell you how to get each one so here we have delicious explosion as it says here, killing things with a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, or grenade abilities will go ahead and drop you one delicious explosion. Um, and it's not common, but it's uncommon because it's, eh, I mean, it's a common weapon to use, but not as common as other ones. Sharp flavor is getting kills of swords. Um, so just spam your sword and you'll get it done. You can even get it if you don't have any ammo. So if you have no ammo, it's fine. You still get a sharp flavor. Then we have the three elements. We have impossible heat, uh, electric flavor, and null taste. So solar, arc, and void. And these are not common at all. They're pretty rare to get as it's a very common thing to do. It's just to kill things with a element. Your super or your, your abilities or a weapon is just... You don't get them as often as you think, I'll be honest. Better to use a primary weapon instead of a special weapon but up to you how you want to do it just kill them with those elements next we have flash of inspiration you'll gain this by generating orbs so you have a master of weapon or use your super every time you generate one orb you have a chance to get a flash of inspiration next we have personal touch such as melee abilities I think I thought it always also worked with just melee but I could be wrong I think yeah, you actually use your melee ability Back in the day, I'm not sure if it still works, but if you have if your sword is no ammo, it used to give personal touch as well. If you just use your sword and just hit things with it without having any ammo, I'm not entirely sure it's the same. You could test it out. I didn't test it out this year, but it says it says ability of melee abilities, so I'm not sure if it's actually you just get it just by punching anymore. But I don't know. There is that. Next we have perfect taste, which is getting headshots or prison damage. Um, it's pretty rare to get as headshots are pretty common. Um, you, rare, you, you will rarely get this. That's a, pretty much how it works. Then we have bullet spray. We have getting kills of auto rifles, some machine guns, and heavy machine guns. Um, this is not common either, but uh, you have to pretty much not just getting one kill of auto rifle. We want you actually have to spray, like actually uh, get multiple kills of auto rifle, have a sub machine gun or heavy machine gun, and it will drop eventually, pretty much. Then we have finishing touches, getting kills of finishers. It's not common, but you can spam finishers on easy enemies and you should get one eventually. Then we have balanced flavors. This one is getting kills of bows, and rifles, scout rifles, and pulse rifles. This is probably very, very easy to get as why well, I have 25 of them. I'll tell you why in a bit here. 
but the best weapon to really grind these for. Next we have multi kills. Just get multi kills. So rocket launchers or like if a sword, get three or four kills in a row, and then you get one. It's pretty common. Superb texture is getting kills of your super. So roaming supers are pretty good for this. And then lastly, a new ingredient, which is dark, dark frosting, which is getting kills with stasis damage. You can use abilities or weapons that can shoot stasis. So the new sword, Zephyr, or even just like, you know, Aegir Aegir Scepter, or just, I don't know, any weapon. And there you go. Those are the ingredients. That's how you get most of them. Pretty simple stuff. Nothing too different from last year, except for this and maybe personal touch, maybe change a little bit. Next, we have the recipes. I think it tells you all the recipes um, pretty much uh, before even even if you don't know them yet. Because there's no, there's no crafting. Back in the day, you had to put in, put in a recipe, put in like Aether Cane and like, uh, you know, Delicious Explosion. And then you have to craft it using Essence of Dawning. Essence of Dawning. And if you got it wrong, it gave you a mistake. But it seems like it's less less, less hard and it's just better this year. So I don't think I have to go through everything here. But we'll go through it anyways. So Sabala is Aether Cane and it's Lizard Explosion. Uh, we have one for Ikora, which is Cabal Oil and Flash of Inspiration. Amanda for Cabal Oil, Null Taste. Banshee, Vex Milk, Bullet Spray. Uh, Hearthorn's Falcon is Aether Cane and Personal Touch. We have uh, Devrim K for Aether Cane and Perfect Taste. We have Phil Safe, Vex Milk, and Possible Heat. Cabal Oil, Sharp Flavor for Lower Shacks. For Drifter, Taken Butter, Null Taste. Uh, Petra Vench, Dark Aether Cane, Impossible Heat. Uh, Zer, Taken Butter, Electric Flavor. Uh, Saint 14, Vex Milk, Personal Touch. 801, Aether Cane, Balanced Flavors. Uh, Aeris Morn, Chin and Powder, Finishing Touch. Ferrix, Chin and Powder, Electric Flavor. Shahan, Aether Cane, Blood Spray. Crow. Dark Ether Cane, Balance Flavor, Tess Eververse, or just Tess, Chin and Powder, Multifaceted Flavors, Eva, Taken Butter, Superb Texture, Exo Stranger, Dark Ether Cane, Dark Frosting, and lastly, Mr. Not Mr. <laughs> Miss Queen Mara, Taken Butter, and Sharp Flavor. And those are the recipes there, but it does tell you, even if you don't have them, it does tell you how to get them, so you don't have to worry about memorizing this, so whatever. There is that. Now, one last thing before we head on to the next stuff is the bet. Who is the easiest recipe? Who is the easiest person to grind for? And this will segment into the next one here. Easiest one will be test Eververse. As you can see here, we can craft her, right? Just like this. It's multifaceted and chitin powder. And we have a lot of chitin powder and we have a lot of multifaceted flavors. And the reason why we have a lot is because we just, you just do this, right? And from anywhere in the game, you just go to your store. And you can give it to her. Most of the time when you want to give a gift to somebody, you have to go to them in the game, the vendor into the game. But now we just go anywhere and just give it to her. And she has the easiest ingredients. Now, when I say she has the easiest ingredients, well, there's one reason why. So this, you could do this anywhere, but this is the best spot to grind for her vendor is the dungeon, the first area with the loot cave and the weapon you want to use which gives you like five different ingredients, if you use it correctly, um, is the Trinity Ghoul. Trinity Ghoul, absolutely broken most of the time when it comes to uh, this event. So the reason why is because one, if you have a masterwork, which you need a masterwork no matter what, um, what do you call it? If you need a masterwork and what it can give you is arc flavor multi kills because of the, the thing. Uh, it'll spawn orbs. It will you pick up orbs. You'll get uh, pick up picking up orbs. That's not doesn't exist anymore. I don't think that used to be one. Um, headshots and multi kills and all that stuff. It, it's it's all there, pretty much. It, it, it's too strong. It's a strong bow. It gives so much drop. So let's take another example here of how it works and what it looks like when you do this over here. The so loot cave, you don't, you don't have to finish anything, right? Just go ahead, start getting some kills here. And just do this. You can see on our left screen right here, 
the whole premise is to not continue on this area and just you know stay over here and walk out right and then they will keep respawning as you can see And we could probably use uh, our super here. Get some more bounce flavors. Oh boy, these things hurt though. Who's here to see the deal with? Of course. One thing you got to remember is to actually uh, pick up the engrams because if you don't pick them up, um, they do blow up and they will kill enemies inside. They do damage. Can't finish her this. Why not? There you go. Hopefully that's a good enough example there. Now you might be wondering, we're also getting Dawning Spirit as well. Now, if you've played last year, you get this ship here. This ship, Star Fairers 7M, um, when you actually upgrade it, you will get, every time you kill an enemy, there's a chance to get Dawning Spirit. Every time you get a Dawning Ingredient, there's a chance to get a Dawning Spirit, which is needed to upgrade other stuff. Now. Even if you missed that, it's fine. Eva will sell the ship as well, and you can spend, I don't know what you need to spend, Dawning Spirit to upgrade it as well. But to get Dawning Spirit, there's a couple ways to get that as well than just playing the game. So there's a couple ways. One is the bounties that she gives you, uh, which is these ones here, Dawning Spirit. Um, other ways is whenever you give a gift to somebody, um, you will also get three Dawning Spirit. Then there's also these Triumphs in the Dawning, in the Season of the Lost area, which is over here. And completing this will give you five Dawning Spirit, right? So there's a lot of ways to get it, right? And there's just so you can upgrade the ship, which is, I think the most important thing is to upgrade the ship, no matter what. Upgrade the ship because that will give you a good constant of earning, a constant way to earn Dawning Spirit. There is no way you shouldn't get that first. The ship should be upgraded first. It will take a, a little bit of time, but it is honestly very beneficial. So let me go ahead and just give Zer. I mean, I don't have it yet. Damn it. I need taken butter. Okay, got my taken butter. It took me like five minutes because, well, you will not find the props. Ever. Anyways, stick and butter. We can give them strange cookies. And we'll get three dawning spirit. There we go. And we finish a triumph. Which then lets us get another five dawning spirits. One thing I haven't really talked about is how to get uh dawning of essence. Dawning of essence is from any activity uh you play, and even getting like a powerful drop from like Exo Stranger or from Eva. It will also give you like five essence of dawning, but there is also a perk or not perk, but an upgrade you can get to increase the amount you get from bounties from Eva, um, and that's gonna cost you dawning of spirits, which is what we get, like I said, from giving gifts, uh, doing triumphs. If you have the ship equipped and you have it upgraded, which, like I said, very important, to get that done first. Um, you you should do that. I'm not sure how much max you can hold. You can hold a lot of dawning. Of essence, essence of dawning. I'm not entirely sure, but very important to do that. Now she has two bounties, weekly bounties, which is very very easy to do. Which is get 50 kills with a snowball, uh, and deliver five cookies. Right now, here's the issue: the cookie, the cookie part is kind of an issue if you just don't have any recipes. Because if you've played before, considering. Uh, you only need if you've played last year and you had all the recipes done already the only two you needed left the only two was Star Wars 
Athens and Ascendant Apple Turts. These are the two new vendors in the game, and that's all we needed to masterwork it. Then it makes a cost of 10 as a instead of 15. And so that the bounty you get at Eva here for a weekly, well, I can't show it because I already did it. Unless I, no, I can't show it. Um, uh, this one here, they deliver five. If you deliver five, right? If you deliver two, it costs you 15 to make two or 30 to make two. So that's, you already lost your essence. You know, it's this, this bounty gives you, gives you, uh, it's going to cost you three more. Like it's going to, you know, you know what I mean? It's, you're not, you're not, you're not, uh, it only pays for two cookies instead of three, right? But if you have it masterworked and you have the upgrade, it gives you 40 essence of dawning. So you're making five cookies. So you're losing 10 SM dawnings. Plus you get extra ingredient and bright dust and XP and dawning of spirit. So the benefit is, uh, people who've played before has this benefit. And if you're new, you get, this is a very good bounty, but early on, not so good. Uh, in uh, giving you back essence of dawning now all these cost 40 dawning spirit and we can go over it so first things first i don't know what this does still it gives you a bonus i don't really care i don't play with people so it doesn't matter then we have dawning this gives you an extra ingredient for each bounty complete so it's random so if you needed something really badly and you haven't been getting it you might get it from doing any bounty it's plus even additional bounties or random bounties right Next, we have dawning bounties reward a small amount of dawning essence. So every so before these they didn't give essence of dawning, they don't, but now they do. So plus two for dailies, plus one for essence of dawning, and it's plus ten for uh, weekly. So you get extra ten for doing these. Then we have uh, perks. So we can get extra perks on weapons. And how this works is that we want to if we whenever we get give a gift to a vendor. They have a chance to give us a gift in return, and that will head. To, that will go into inventory. And what a gift in return can give you is resources, upgrade modules, legendary shards, enhancement cores, prisms, and any weapon, dawning weapon, and all that stuff, and armor and stuff, as well. I think. But if you don't use them and you have uh, five da dawning spirit, you can go ahead and redeem these. When you do redeem these, now let's say we do that, and we get a cold front. You can see now when we actually open it. We're gonna have two perk rolls. Wait, what? Huh? Oh wait, I didn't read it right. Wait. No, wait, what? That didn't work. Huh? I do it again. Huh? Hang on a minute. Is it random twice? Is it not guaranteed? We got subsidence, but we didn't get a different perk there. Wait, how does this? Oh, is it because I got a different? I mean, I'm not. I'm not not completely confused here. Let's just do these avalanche. Another cold front. I wanted the, I wanted the sword, but that's whatever. Maybe I got these packages old. They're old packages. No, wait. Maybe it's specific. Maybe it's not both. It's just some do, some don't. You don't get four. It's just one of either. Okay, but I don't. The first one didn't work. Anyways. That's how that works. Get some extra perks. If you get these done, it's going to cost you 80. You have to get this one first and get that one after, pretty much. So, a chance to drop. I didn't read that. I'm blind. Okay, a chance to drop. Maybe you might get both. Yeah, okay. A chance to drop. Unlucky. Anyways, that is that. Now, when you first go to Eva, she'll have bounties for you. You have the sword, Zephyr, which you can't get until you get something. Until you get, uh, I don't know, whatever. And then a ship, Rite of Dawning. And the pigeon, so they get both of those ones done. But uh, they get uh, the pigeon done to get the sword. So I'm gonna go over, I guess, quickly how to get those done. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Let's see. Okay, so red of dawning is very easy to do, but you have to, I think, make at least three cookies for the drifter. So you have to do some grinding for that. Um, but first things first, you have to go ahead and talk to Savala. And uh, you gotta get festive intel. 
which is in the uh, in uh, Firebase Hades. Um, one thing to note is that um, uh, since I'm not entirely sure, I think one quest is free to play, and one is if you have the seasons, you can't do it, like the season pass. So I think this one, this uh, the Saint 14 one, the pigeon provides. This one is uh, pay. You have to pay for DLC or seasons. And the other one, Zavala one, is for free. So I think that's how that works. Because the sword, yeah, I think this is how it works. Based off what you need to do for uh, both of these quests. All right, so I'm trying to find the data pad. I'm going to head to the Winding Cove and then head towards Firebase Hades. And it's at the beach on the very backside. Eventually, when we get close enough, you will go ahead and see a waypoint towards it, basically. But, you know, as 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 important is to get kills because, you know, we need those ingredients. But you can see right there, once we start getting close to where we need to head, we will, we will start to get and see the marker for that there. Next step, we want to go ahead and head to the Lost Sector, which is in the same area, and kill Cabal. Best to just start the start the Lost Sector, as there is Cabal in there, and we need to get Ritual Schematic, which is not a guaranteed chance that it will always drop from the Cabal, but we're going to go ahead and head in there, which is just over here on the map. As you can see, we have it over it. There you go. So, after killing the boss, you want to head and pick up the, pick up the, uh, the cup, or whatever it is, I already forgot. <laughs> what is we pick it up there we go and then it'll go kill more cabal because there's not enough apparently and they are unlucky i guess and once you finish that step you gotta go ahead and do one arms dealer strike so go ahead and open up your e your map and then just queue it up basically up here and then just finish it and then you get the next step so once we finish the strike here you will get the next thing from it and then I think this is the step where to go ahead and go ahead and make three dark chocolate moats for the drifter here. This is where it's going to be a little bit slow and sluggish. If you've only been doing the quest, you have to go ahead and grind other stuff uh, to get this done here. So dark chocolate moats is going to make cost you three taken butter and three null tastes. And honestly, your best bet is probably just go ahead and do um, Dares of Eternity as there's Taken in there. A chance to not have Taken, either that, but it's pretty much free stuff, free things to kill. Other than that, you can go to a Lost Sector EDZ, the Sludge, the Cavern of Souls has Taken in there. Or you can go ahead to the Shadowed Throne if you have the Forsaken pack. Um... Uh, dungeon if you have that then you can do that one has just taken in there or you can go and head to pff, the dreaming city has taken just roaming around and eh, i mean not much other places i'll be honest um other than the edz dreaming city and eternity which has the activity you can do or you could also go to prophecy dungeon which has a bunch of taken there as well so go ahead choose your poison for the most part now after that once you finish that step you're pretty much done at that point all right once you get your three dark moat chocolates head to the drifter give him all three because he's greedy he needs everything so give him all that one two and three that is nine dawning spirit it's pretty nice and you're gonna go ahead and get that bottle from him now the next thing we have to do is go ahead and do a proving ground strike. Um and yeah. Is it or we have to go to Savala for that ah, Savala is saying yeah, whatever. You get you get the shader first, and then we have to go ahead and do uh the strike here, which is the proving ground one. Now the, you have to go ahead and do and queue it up at Nessus on the map. Or get lucky and find it in the strike playlist. It doesn't say just do or have to do that strike specifically. It doesn't matter how you do it or where you how you start it. But if you want the progress for you know your pinnacle or something, then get lucky and just get it in the strike playlist or just queue it up there in the Nessus place. So best to, best to just do it here as 
it's too much work to do the other one. Once you're finished with that, you get the next step, and you head back to Zavala, and it's pretty much the last step. Talk to Zavala and talk to Eva, pretty much. So Zavala, then Eva. Just like this. You get an emblem, make sure you have space, as I never have space. Because I don't even know. No, I'm just bad with it. And that's pretty much it for that one. Of course, I finished the one before this, but... Uh, if you get finished both quests, you get this, you get, uh, the ship. But if you don't, then you don't get the ship. Now let's go over and about the other one now. Which gives you the Zephyr Sword, which is pretty cool. Okay, we're going to go over the Pigeon Provides. This one says, start it off. It's complete the Lost Splicer on Europa. This is a free-to-play, free quest to do to start it off. You, you don't need to do anything else uh, for that one. After that, I'm going to go ahead and talk to Saint. 14 is this is the vendor we're going to be talking to for the most part instead of Zavala. So heading over to Saint, he's going to give us and tell us to go find the Elixni recipe on Europa. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that is in Eventide Ruins. So spawning here in Eventide Ruins, it, right away it is a waypoint. So just look to your right and it's where you actually start the quest and the Lost Splicer. We go ahead and pick up that Elixni recipe right over here. And the next step here to go ahead and get pure ether extract harpy eggs which is kind of weird and glacial star wart collected so glacial star wart collected is just from chests that spawns around the map so go ahead and head to your ghost and put that uh that treasure hunter or whatever resource hunter perk on your ghost so you can find them quickly pure aether extract is from any lost sector it doesn't have to be in a fallen lost sector I'll tell you what the best one is, and harpy eggs, well, just kill harpies for that, so let me show you guys the best one, which is, well, the easiest one. So the best lost sector is in Cadmus Ridge, and it's the Petition uh, one, Petition one, um, because it has harpies in it, for the most part, um, which is very, very easy to do, um, and you want to get the snowball quest done. If you get, if you just only kill snowballs in this lost sector, you'll finish your weekly bounty, which is, is more is enough fifty in there, around fifty five enemies in there. So just spam snowballs and get that cool weekly done. After you finish that step, whoops, uh, you want to go ahead and get five ethereal spiral, which is just the the currency in the area, which is the, the orange stuff, and buy Kel's dough at Spider. Which costs you 15 Dawning Spirit. So go ahead and make sure you have enough. If not, then you gotta do some more bounties and all that good stuff. But like I said, you can find those Aethral Spiros, Spiros and chests and just around the area. Just similar to what you did on Europa. Finding those other stuff and chests and on the floor. But same thing here. So the resource basically. There you go. So heading the spider. It's gonna cost you 15 Dawning Spirit. Pick it up and then get your 5 Spiros. After that, you want to go back to St. 14 for the next step. When he, what he wants you to do is go give treats in, uh, in the Elixni Quarter. Uh, this unlocks after the first mission for the last thing. Nothing too special. I'm just going to go ahead and just deliver all the fallen uh, fallen in that area. Just, yeah. So you just run around and just hold E or interact with them and give them. You need to give 10. There are some in this area over here and there's some on the building if you forget exactly where they are you can see on the map the blueberries the blue dots so i just went across and head over to this building where some of them are for the most part and there you go once done you go ahead and talk to saint again and he's going to tell you to go ahead and talk to eva and then you get the zephyr and there you go zephyr can it's the first taste of sword and actually can Every time you do damage, it freezes, it slows them, and eventually, if you're hitting a boss, it would freeze them, doing enough damage. It's a pretty cool sword, uh, and has a nice perk on it as well. And that's it. That is pretty much the, both the quests. You need to finish them both to unlock some of the stuff. I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if you need the season stuff. Maybe you don't. I don't know if they're both free to play. Maybe they are. I don't know. Hard to tell. I don't know. I don't, I don't have a free to play account, so I don't actually know. But there you go. That is that. Those are two quests. And you get the ship if you want. And then those gifts, you need to actually do those quests as well. So hopefully, I think I've covered mostly everything here. If I forgot anything, just uh, put a comment below. Uh, maybe I'll answer it. I don't remember uh, everything. But I think that's mostly 
all the good things in this event. It's pretty short. Uh, not much other triumphs. You got two shaders, one emblem, a ship, a uh, new sword, and then you get some extra perks and everything. Um, there's nothing special to complete everything. You just get more Dawning Spirit, Dawning Spirit, uh, Gift Return, you can focus a gift, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too special. I don't know, but it's kind of cool. But uh, I think that's pretty much it for the oven. Can't make mistakes. It's 2.1, not 2.0 anymore. So hopefully it helped. Uh, 30 minutes sounds about right. So I appreciate it if you watched this long and you heard this message at the end. I appreciate it.